Hey there, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you an overview of Creative Fabrica's new design studio called, well, Studio. And we're going to see if it's ready to take on Canva as the king of online graphic design softwares. But before that, hey guys, my name is Jeff and this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. And right now we're talking about low and medium content publishing on Amazon KDP. So if this sounds interesting to you, feel free to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let's get right to it. Now, if you're like me, I basically use two tools in my publishing business. Number one is Creative Fabrica. I basically go on Creative Fabrica. I can find my fonts. I can find my clip art. I can find graphics. I can find pretty much anything that I need, but then, once I have it, I usually go and upload it onto another software called Canva. And this is what I've been doing for years and it's what's worked for me. But I might not be using Canva very much longer depending on how good Creative Fabrica Studio is. So as you can see, it says from removing the background of your images and cropping images to using AI to in paint and out paint, our online design and edit features cater to everyone's specific needs. So if we scroll down and look through its features, we can see there's a background remover, an SVG file converter, a PNG to SVG converter, a JPEG to SVG converter. You can rotate images, you can crop images. There's a transparent background maker, mirror images, JPG to PDF converter, JPG to PNG converter, change of color on images, JPEG to JPG converter, a black and white filter. You can change photo background colors. You can add text on images, add emojis to photos. There's a PNG to JPG converter, a circle crop, overlay images, combine images, remove background from logo. You can resize photo for Instagram, AI in painting tool. You can animate pictures, blur backgrounds, blur image, crop JPGs, crop PNGs, darken images, edit PDFs image enhancer, photo filter effects, resize icon, resize JPEG, resize PNG, sharpen image, unblur image, and watermark to photos. And then we can see that it says here, try CF Studio and create whatever you can imagine effortlessly. Start your design journey today for free. So let's go ahead and click on this button. So now here we are presented with some modules. As you can see, Creative Fabrica Studios right here. We also have a Creative Fabrica vectorizer, which is actually really great. And then you can see there are more modules coming soon, which is awesome. So now if we go ahead and click into Creative Fabrica Studio. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple design interface. We can start by adding our new design if we click here or down here. And as you can see, we can go from standard to print to craft products, print on demand, social media, online digital, Google ads, wedding, business. And you can even do custom settings right here, which is usually what I do. And we can go ahead and do it by pixels, by inches, and then also choose your DPIs. And so if we go ahead and do this, and we just do a eight and a half by 11, and let's go ahead and create the new design. And then here we are with this. As you can see, starting on the left-hand side, you can jump from Creative Fabrica Studio to Creative Fabrica Vectorizer whenever you want. There's also the Home button. There's also the Settings button here. And then you can go backwards, go forward, just like Canva. Here's your layers, and this is to hide anything. And so you can show your document. You can name your project here. You can check your latest designs. You can add a new design here. As we can see, there's Spark AI. So this is where you can write in whatever you want and have an image created. As you can see the graphics, if we search for graphics, you can see a lot of graphics here. We can also do a search for any graphic that you want. And if you click on it, you can see that it comes up right here on the page. And if we click text, you can see you can add a text field here. You could add headings, subheadings, body. You can choose their pre-made text right here. If we go and do this, we can make it bigger. 
you can go through elements here they have lines abstract shapes they have lots of different types of elements that you can use you can even use the search bar up here to search for elements if we look for photos you can see photos that you can use you can also go up and search for photos that you want they have backgrounds so if we add a background we can see that we put a background on the page you could have patterns we can choose patterns to put on our page and then if you clicked on templates you can see that there's a bunch of templates that are already pre-made that you can go ahead and start editing there's book cover templates brochures instagram posts invitation newsletters postcards social media t-shirts web ads web banners worksheets if you go to uploads you can see anything that you've uploaded here or this is where you can drag and upload files if you go to draw this is where you have your draw tools where you can go and grab a draw tool and do what you want on the page and then you also have your help section where you can go ahead and type your question and it can be answered and as you can see when you click on an element it comes up with a menu bar right here where you can change its alignment or its layers you can change its transparency you can crop you can remove it you can duplicate it you can repeat it on the background and you can lock it now if we move to the right hand side you can see your layers bar right here where you can drag and change the positioning of your layers and then up here you can see that there's a share button where you can go ahead and export or download and when you download you can have the option to remove the background you can flip horizontally and then you can choose to save it as a png a jpg or a pdf and right here this is where you can zoom in and zoom out and then finally this is where you can go dark mode to light mode now my honest first impressions with creative fabrica studio is that it actually has a long way to go in order to even catch up to canva because as simple as even this font when i click on it as you can see it's not getting detected and i had trouble trying to resize these fonts and images seemed like the program really knew what I was trying to do. As you can see, I can do this. And if I try to do anything else, it kind of freezes up. So, and then now it's working. But as you can see, I'm clicking and it's not really doing what I want. But I am excited to see what Creative Fabrica Studio will be in the future. Keep in mind, it just released not that long ago. And so let's give it some time and see what it can actually do in the coming months ahead. And here we are with some Q&A from Creative Fabrica's YouTube account. First one asks, hello, if you have a membership to Creative Fabrica, is there a fee also for Studio? Creative Fabrica replies that Studio is free to use. But if you have an all access subscription, then you have unlimited access to studio, which means that you have access to all the premium content and features. Second question is how much does it cost? Creative Fabrica replies that CF Studio is free to use. However, if you want access to all the premium content and features, you can sign up for Creative Fabrica's all access subscription. You can also sign up by clicking Go Pro on any of the content or upgrade on the Studio homepage to upgrade to an all access. And then finally, last question is, will we be able to use any fonts that we've downloaded to our CF account in Studio or only the default list that's currently on there? And Creative Fabrica's reply is, for now, the available fonts in the list are the ones that you can choose from, but we're working on implementing much more new features in the future. Keep an eye out. Now, if you're interested in becoming an all access member, right now it's only $4.99 a month, and that gives you access to everything on Creative Fabrica, whether it's fonts, PNGs, graphics. You have access to Spark, which also includes the AI art generator as well as studio and a lot of other things that are still yet to come if you want access to that at $4.99 a month i'll put the link down below in the description box for you to go and check it out with that being said that's it for today's video let me know in the comments below 
if you have any questions or what kind of video you want me to do next. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.